Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be going through quite a few of the Lego sets that I'm currently selling on eBay. I'll be telling you guys why I decided to sell them and how much money I'm expecting to get from them. So one of the first sets I ended up selling, I'm doing a bunch of Lego Star Wars sets that I'm going to sell that are all retired. And uh, one of them I am selling uh, quite a few of these, the tiny Millennium Falcon uh, microfighter sets. It's got 101 pieces, set number 75295. And it's gone up in value by about like 30 to 50 percent. So, and I was on top of uh, retail price, and I was able to get all these on sale. So, hopefully, I can make a good profit from that. Next up, we got uh, this set right here. This is the Lego Star Wars uh, like Clone Troopers Battle Pack. It's got the three Clone Troopers there. It's got some cool pieces in it too, but it's mostly focusing on the little minifigures there, that uh, yellow one right there is a great addition to the set, and in, in some cases is selling for about as much as the set is worth, which is pretty impressive. Um, so I'd hope to get a pretty good profit off of this one. Uh, it'd be good to get somewhere between 22 to like, I don't know, $30. Pro well, 22 to like 28 would probably be a reasonable margin. And uh, another one I'm going to end up selling is uh, quite a few of these. So I've been holding on to these for quite a while the Lego Sith Troopers Battle Pack set. And I'm just gonna, I'm selling a bunch of Lego Star Wars sets and I'm just gonna sell a couple of these in addition to it. And uh, this set has done pretty well. Generally, these Lego Star Wars Battle Packs are pretty safe, reliable investments. They're a little bit like the mutual fund of Lego investing. They uh, generally tend to go up in value by a pretty good margin. They generally don't spike very quickly up in value unlike some of the other uh, Lego sets that I'm, I've invested in but uh, they do tend to generally go up in value by a pretty consistent margin if you give it long enough time to wait after it has retired. Next up, I'm selling uh, all of these in my collection, the Lego Brickheads uh, Mandalorian and the Child set. Um, I'm not sure how much money I'll end up getting for these. It didn't do as well as I had hoped it would, but I'm uh, just adding it to the collection of Lego retired Lego Star Wars sets I'm selling. So it'll hopefully drive up the price of that a little bit, and I can help hopefully at least sell this for above retail. I think I was able to get some of these for like 40% off, so if I could sell it for around retail, I'd make about a, I don't know, 25% return, which is all right after the fees um, from eBay. I'm also selling quite a few of my LEGO Mario sets. I'm selling these uh, little character packs here, the uh, uh, Tend to Collect Series 3 packs selling all four of these in the same lot. I'm also selling one of the main um, the main Lego Mario pack set here, the uh, Adventures with Mario set. I'm going to be keeping the other one. This one I don't believe is retired, but it just has um, remained in production for a lot longer than I was expecting it to. So I'm going to sell it in addition with the other Lego Mario sets and hopefully it will help increase the price. But we'll have to see how it goes. Next up, we got um, a couple more character packs here. So these are a little newer edition, but uh, this is the Series 5 character packs. This is when they switch to the cardboard box format, and hopefully that increases the value of it by a bit. I also have the Chain Chomp set and a few others in here, including this one right here, the Bowser Jr.'s clown car. I think I have two of these in my collection, so I'm just going to be selling one of them. But I do think that it'll likely end up doing pretty well once it or when I eventually sell it in the next few days. And then, next up, we got... There's a couple more boxes full of LEGO that I'm selling, but we have this one right here, the uh, LEGO Marble Spider-Man set. set 40454. It's got 63 pieces. I thought this one was going to do really well. It's got some great exclusive minifigures. You have those two right there from the set, as well as the Venom and Spider-Man figure, which are a great addition to the set. It's also just got some cool pieces. You have the little cart there, and then you have the Lego hot dog and stuff, which is kind of cool. And uh, this set has gone up in value by a pretty good margin. It's uh, not as much as I'd hoped, but it's still likely going to sell for a pretty good profit. And then in that box, I have in this one right here, I've got a bunch of Lego as uh, Harry Potter sets, as well as uh, one or two Star Wars sets, and of course that Marvel set in it. And uh, we're going to see how these end up selling. I'm hoping to get, if I could get somewhere between, 
I don't know, 550 to $800 or 750 maybe. That would be pretty great, but we'll have to see how they end up doing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.